Hey guys, we're here with Sword Art Online. What I'm going to do is I'm going to review the dark event that just passed. Now, you know, I was saying that the event was getting higher and higher and higher. Right? I didn't really like it. And one of the things I do want to mention for this event is that without this character, right, the dark Edis, the crazy Edis, you're not going to be able to rank top 10. I mean, I had five accounts, I mean, that got Edis, right? And I had one account that didn't get Edis. No matter what I did, there was no way for me to get beyond 15. So I ranked on 15, right? Uh, even given I had level 120 characters, which I was thinking, hey, that will be beneficial, right? But um, you couldn't get to top 10 most of I got three account that ranked number one right like three of my accounts including this account we were we were number one and two of my other accounts um, were level well ranked two or three so one of them I think it was ranked three though so two the other two account was ranked three and then one of the account was ranked 15 and I think it's kind of bullshit because you know that you have to have a certain character to be able to rank. If not, it's almost impossible to rank. But then again, I think it's mostly because people got the character and then they were fighting, right? I mean, there's nothing they could do about it. But still, uh, without the character, there was no way you were going to rank top 10. And those players that, as you can see, like, well, actually, that one, the last one, I guess that's kind of okay. He kind of made it there. But it, it, it might have been just because of my um, my group ra rather than the actual players. You see number 11? I think he could have ranked higher. Either he didn't know what he was doing or he, he just didn't really give a shit. Right? Now, again, 12, 13, I think these... These players could have ranked higher, but I wouldn't want them ranking too high anyways because then we're competing against each other. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here playing like 24-7. And the fact that because of everything that's happening, I think that players just got tired of the game. Anyways, I mean, I ranked number one again, so I have three titles. They didn't give me a title yet, but essentially I have three number one rank one titles. And... I had two of the newest characters, right? Right when I start off the battle, I already got two, uh, 200 incarnate. So, basically, before I did anything, I could do two incarnation, right? I mean, can you imagine if you didn't have anything? If you didn't have the characters, obviously, you're not going anywhere. You have to hit a few times, and then, then you get to do your incarnation, right? So... That's essentially what happened if you don't have the characters. And luckily enough, I got both the characters on my first try. It's not like, hey, I, I, I put money into trying to buy the character because I didn't feel like the character was worth it. I mean, looking at Asuna, the second one, I think she's only good for that one ranking event. After that, I think she's pretty much useless, right? I mean, she's a CAA, and her charge isn't extremely good her assault isn't extremely good but during this ranking event she was important but after that she's useless in my opinion i mean she does increase in damage by 30 percent ish for her incarnation uh, meeting certain bars and stuff like that but after that i think she's pretty much useless and i don't like how they are really just not giving anything out of this ranking event I mean, they used to give you, like, a limited edition avatar, right? Now they give you a limited edition title. To be honest, I don't really care about the title. I mean, I got three rank one title already, and that's pretty much all you need, right? Because your profile will only show you have three titles. So, who gives a shit, right? You go here, and there you go. I have two titles there. And then, you know, you, you don't show the titles anymore. So... You know, I would have preferred how, you notice the background here? There's that limited edition illustration. Well, they had that going for one ranking event, and then they removed it. Why? I don't know. 
I, it made no sense. I would prefer that one better than uh, the titles now. I mean, there's not much to the title other than, hey, you're rank one. And it doesn't really say anything, right? And, of course, you get some of the uh, crystals and things like that. I don't even feel those are important anymore. Look at the per this, this crystal, right? This is a four-star ticket crystal. But what's in that four-star ticket? Like the beginning characters, right? I mean, who cares about the beginning characters? Everybody has them now. So, anywho, going back to the ranking event after my rant, I used Sinon, the Earth, right? At the beginning of the game, what happened was you didn't think about using the elemental differences, and now we're so elemental, whatever. Everybody's just using the, you know, the opposing element, which is beneficial, but you forget you can also replace those with characters that is important. I had Kirito in here when I was fighting, right? The the three recollection field Kirito. And I just removed him and I replaced it with Sinon. Because I didn't do anything with Kirito after. I didn't charge. I didn't use the recollection field. I just needed to do his incarnation. So I replaced it with Sinon. And, you know, Sinon is actually a fairly good character for the attack family type of enemies. Because look at it. Raises attack of all allies by 15% for three turns. We're talking about three turns, not two turns. So three turns, and then you can raise it again, and then you have 30%. Now raises critical damage by 15%. You could do that up to 20%. The important thing is, if the enemy is hitting hard, you got raises physical resist by 20%. So very beneficial, short wait time, and then once you throw her in there, you don't use her again. I mean, well, you, you do it two times. The sharpness, critical, and protect, and then you don't use her again. And then you use the other characters to attack. Now, this one was very unique because you didn't really use the character's incarnation. No, it, it wasn't about that. It wasn't focused about using the incarnation. It was focused about the continuous damage on this new character, which is Edis. That's why if you didn't have Edis, there was no freaking way you would have been up there uh, in top place unless you cheated. So anyways, you noticed uh, where, I don't know which one, the break or the uh, assault. The important thing is uh, the second line, which is inflicts total continuous damage. Super strong and heals self for four turns. And that total continuous damage actually adds up, right? It goes from like 50,000 to like 100,000 to 200,000. And then at the end, you should get around 400,000. I got around... 369,000. So, um, if you didn't have the Edis, there was no freaking way you would have ranked top 10. I mean, sure, if your group is filled with little players or players that are not that active, then, you know, you might be able to get the top 10. But if your account, or I mean, if your, your group was filled with active players, you're not going anywhere. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that because uh, a lot of people didn't know what was happening. I mean, I was a bit confused at first, too. But I just wanted to mention that now because um, the event is over and I could talk about it before. Right? I mean, you were competing with each other. I, <laughs> I didn't want to make a video so that I like I was already stressing out about seven million. I had this guy here. The first thing he did was hit 7 million. Like, and then I played and played and played, but I didn't save my, I didn't s save it, right? I exit before the game ended or the, the battle ended. And then I was just stuck below there. I, you know, my, my care, my team was just like in second place. And all right. So I was saying, Anyways, I was saying I was in second place, and now I'm getting cutting off, so uh, that's it. But anyways, you need to eat this. If you didn't, you wouldn't be able to get up there.